Bring the brain, the pain, hardcore from the brain. Let's go inside my astral plane. Find out my mental, based on instrumental record. Hey, so I can write monumental methods. I'm not the king, but niggas is decaf. I stick them for the cream. What's going on? It's your boy QuestX. I'm back. Now, I'm going to be giving you my official prediction for the Vladimir Klitschko versus Anthony Joshua bout. But first, I want to give in because they just had the weigh ins and. Anthony Joshua surprisingly comes in 10 pounds heavier, um, comes in at 250 pounds, and Klitschko came in at 240. So, uh, you know, again, you could read into that however which way you want to. Um, you know, the young man is younger, therefore he's going to be able to build muscle, keep maintain muscle a lot sharper than the much older <laughs> Vladimir Klitschko, but... You know, this could be viewed as, as, as a couple of different ways. Um, I, I will sit there and say this. It's astonishing Vladimir Klitschko is able to maintain himself the way he is. Um, they both look <laughs> in incredible shape. Very, very muscular. Um, I wonder if that if uh, that will work against Anthony Joshua as far as stamina going into the fight. Because you got to think about this. Is that a lot of stuff takes a lot out of you. You know, the, if you're tense... Uh, you, if your emotions, if you're not able to calm and center yourself, that will actually drain your energy as well. That not necessarily uh, fighting and, and get actually physically exerting yourself in the ring will tire you tire you out quick. Just your emotions can do so as well. Um, I caught the brothers seventy eight uh, video, and you know he said, you know about Anthony Joshua does does seem a bit nervous to me, and. Um, I forget whose video I was on, but I actually, somebody, God, who was it? Was it Boxing Waves? I, it was somebody who was breaking down the uh, uh, the media day workouts. And I said that I don't want Anthony Joshua to freeze up in there. And the more I look at him, the more I see it, I, I can honestly, I can envision Anthony Joshua going in there and trying to outthink Vladimir Klitschko and in the process doing what other fighters will do when they're on the big stage, which is trying not to make a mistake, they fight too cautious. And by fighting too cautious, you give us a boring fight. Now, we do know that Klitschko, I mean, that's the knock on his career, is that, you know, A, he can't help that he, was, uh, that he came up in the era that he's come up, but to me, Klitschko has been... <laughs> already heavyweight in the heavyweight division for many decades. So I think at this point, you know, all the, the good heavyweights, I mean, there, there aren't any. Uh, we have a new generation coming up, but they're still so young. Right now, Anthony Joshua only separates himself because Anthony Joshua, A, let's look at it, let's be real. He's got the marketable look, and B, he's young, and he's, and he's knocking guys out. So, and he's steadily shown improvement as he's gone up. Now, this is going to be a leapfrog in opposition, as far as I'm concerned, from who he's fought till now, meaning Anthony Joshua. I don't want to see the young man get lulled to sleep, especially if Klitschko comes out and he, he starts feeding Anthony Joshua a steady diet of jabs. I can definitely see um, Klitschko being more active in this fight. Keeping the jab in Joshua's face, keep having Joshua have to set to reset in order to throw his power shots. Um, I think what we're going to see is a more a, more of a youthful looking Vladimir Klitschko. Believe it or not, uh, and I hate to say it, I think that by losing the belt to Tyson Fury and just the way that uh, Klitschko has conducted himself since then, um, you know, and how he's talked in the lead up to the fight. He, he talks, you know, I have to be honest, you know, I never really gave Vladimir Klitschko a chance uh, because he just didn't have the personality. He didn't have the, the thing that drove me to wanting to, to watch his fights and the drive to see his fights. But you can definitely see that he respects the heavyweight title. And, you know, that's in this day and age where we're looking to fight to try to find fighters who are going to treat this sport the, with the proper respect it deserves. I got to give it to Vladimir. I really do. Um, here's what, I, what I'll say as far as my how I see the fight going. I see the fight going where Anthony Joshua will have spots where he'll try to come on. Uh, I think he's going to fight way too cautious. And, and this is just my um, 
how I see it. Anthony Joshua only up until his last two fights began to show head movement. But Anthony Joshua has a tendency to admire his work. He cannot do that against Vladimir Klitschko because Vladimir Klitschko has a really, really good jab. And he can actually keep kind of lull you to sleep with his style and then come right down the middle. If you see Joshua at any point in time begin to try to come on, and let's say he's not successful, and let's say uh, if Klitschko, Klitschko is mobile and moving, and he keeps, he keeps turning away from Anthony Joshua, I think that Klitschko may edge this out, guys. I think, to be honest with you, I think Klitschko is going to uh, win by slip, split decision. I just think that Joshua will have his moments, but that ultimately Joshua is going to fall into that trap. Um, to me, Joshua has been way too respectful, way too respectful. There's a, especially at the fact that Klitschko lost the belt to Tyson Fury. Um, there was opportunity there to, to um, go at Klitschko about the things he didn't do. You know, get in his get in his head a little bit, and to me, Joshua has been kind of a captor of the moment, and therefore that is why I am tentatively leaning towards Vladimir Klitschko winning by split decision. And uh, you know, let me know what you guys think in your comments below. Uh, do you think I'm misinterpreting uh, Anthony Joshua's body language? Do you think that um, Anthony Joshua has excellent head movement? I mean. To me, I think his head movement is a bit suspect. I think that um, he throws really, really good combinations. But I, I've seen it and I've watched his tendency. He tends to admire his work after throwing a combination. You cannot do that against a seasoned veteran who is going to be waiting for you to unload and then catch you in the middle, in between shots. So you cannot do that. Um, Klitschko definitely love him or hate him. He's consistent. That jab, steady diet of jabs, and those jabs hurt. <laughs> you know, I mean, again, uh, everybody who has fought Klitschko, they will tell you in the, afterwards in the fight, they couldn't, a, a big part of their, their problem was getting past the jab. And then once he had you after about four or five rounds eating a steady diet of jabs, he just kept going down one, two, one, two, one, two. Very robotic. Okay. And he could actually hook off that jab very, very well. So we got to be careful with this. There are a lot of things that Vladimir Klitschko, he, he, he can do a lot of savvy, sneaky veteran things that maybe Anthony Joshua, if Anthony Joshua, even for the slightest bit, believes that just because Vladimir is older, that he can just go in there and steamroll it, it's going to be a bad problem. What will, to me... What will be the tell of this fight will be the first and second round. I don't expect much to go down in the first two rounds, being honest. But if I see Anthony Joshua being very respectful between each round, I know he's frozen in the moment. It's the big stage, and he's just it, it, may, it may have been too soon. Again, there are a lot of critics of Anthony Joshua. There are a lot of Anthony Joshua lovers. I personally want Anthony Joshua to win this fight. I want to see Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder fight. You guys have no idea how bad I want to see this fight. Uh, so, and I want to see that fight for all the marbles, being completely honest. Um, so let me know what you guys think. It's your boy QuestX. I am out. Peace and respect. <laughs>